Shad Naturals is a manufacturing uh, business um, that was founded uh, seven and a half years ago. Um, we manufacture natural hair and skincare products. So the most important documents that you need as a manufacturer uh, number one, you really need to register with the government um, and also not just with the government because currently everything is centralized. Number two, you need to um, uh, think about cabs because you're going into manufacturing. You need to think about the standards of what you're doing and then so then uh, you're looking at it in terms of are you in food, are you in cosmetics, are you in um, a, a different industry, all that. Uh, and so depending on that also, now you have to engage the relevant authorities on that side as well. Uh, you're also looking at it in terms of a KRA. Uh, do you know what you need on the side of KRA? Are your goods vertible? Are they uh, under excise duty? What else do you need to um, bring in uh, according to uh, the laws of tax? So you need to know that and uh, do it prior. You, you, you need to look at the government as a partner because you're not operating in a vacuum. And then also you need to think, uh, how does your business affect the environment? So you need to talk to um, NEMA. The other one that I forgot that is very important as well is council, yeah, uh, city council. You need to speak to them. You need licenses to operate the business. Uh, what else are you doing other than just operating the business? For example, this is a shop. Uh, so what are the licenses that will be needed for the shop? What licenses, probably if you're advertising, what licenses do you need to be able to advertise? Coming from uh, creating the product all the way, putting it into the market, basically the first thing, like I said, that you need to figure out what need are you addressing? And um, is there a gap so that you're not coming to copy and paste? And then you also need to do your research around what else is available in the market that addresses issues around the same product that you want to put out. Now, before you go into proper research and development where you're actually developing the product, you need to first decide who's your target audience. Are you doing a product for the mass market? Are you doing a product for the mastige market? That is uh, the mass market that also wants a bit of prestige in it. Or do you want to do a niche market? Then now you can decide what kind of ingredients do you want to put into your product. So for me, for example, I'm thinking safety before anything else. I'm thinking uh, preserving uh, the best of what we have in terms of hair, in terms of skin for the longest time possible. So how do you address that? So then that helps you to be able to make a decision on what kind of ingredients uh, you are putting into your product. Then you're also looking at the end user. How many of your end users do you know that can be able to give you reliable feedback? So they try, they give you the feedback, uh, they will tell you this is great here, this is not good here. So you keep keeping what is working and snipping out what is not working. So the point is for you to keep uh, improving on that uh, formulation until you get it right as you would have wanted it. For entrepreneurs looking to get their products listed in um, retail stores, number one, you have to be very persistent. Uh, you don't appear day one and everyone is, uh, has been waiting for you, wondering where you are all this time. Uh, they have many other people that they are handling. There are many other products that are being developed every day. So what makes your product different? What value are you bringing uh, so that we have to listen? Uh, sometimes you're finding people who already their, their shelves are full. So what makes me take away this product and put yours on the shelf? So you really have to be persistent and uh, know that uh, it may take a while for you to be able to be uh, on that shelf.